And welcome back, guys. Have you wondered how to pick a good projector, either for the daytime, the nighttime? And are you wondering when you when it throws the light over if you're too close or too far? I got I, I got a really good one for you. This is a projector throw distance calculator that a lot of people don't use, and I I've been using this thing a lot lately because I've had a couple projectors that I've been testing. And I've been all up this one, guys. This has been like my Optima that I have in the garage. Epic. It's dark in there and it works beautifully. Whew. Okay. We ready for this one, guys? Are we ready for this one? This is going to be extremely nice. So make sure you guys do check the description below because I will leave a link to these guys. And that way you guys could find what you want. Now, this isn't a paid advertisement. I wasn't given this link. This is just my own personal research. And like I say, I always do a lot of research before I throw some videos out there for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this one and you guys get something out of it. So check this out. This is this one here is very, very interesting here. So this one is from projectorcentral.com. Projectorcentral.com. Now make sure you guys do look in the description again because I will leave a link. Um, very, very simple. So here is your projector throw distance calendar. You could search by projector, projector brand, or you could search by throw distance in screen size. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to the search by throw distance screen size. So if you know what your minimum and maximum throw ratio is, you could put that here. This throw distance is how many feet. So let's just say I'm gonna go about three feet and my image size is gonna be about 60. And we're gonna go diagonal and I'm gonna leave these two blank down here. If you click submit, it's gonna give you everything for that one in particular. Now, um, here's like your aspect ratio. You got 16 by 10, you got all these, like all this information, your audible noise, warranty, technology, your weight, volume, speakers, resolution, lamp life, uh, uh, lamp type, well, this one's laser, and brightness, what, what, how bright it is. So lumens, the higher the lumens, the, the, the greater it is for your daytime, the lower the lumens, it's better for nighttime. So for me, I've done a video on the garage where I have uh, a lot of light coming in. I even turn on the headlights, the, the LED lights that were blaring directly into the bulb and I still got a perfect image. And everyone's like, how does this look when it's dark in there though? What if you turn off that light? How does that look? How does it look at nighttime? So I'm actually gonna do a video um, I'll, and I'll do the three stages. I'll have the garage open with all the lights on and everything. And then I'll have another one where I have the garage closed and the lights closed. So how it looks like with just the natural light. And then I'm going to have one where it's just nighttime, complete dark. How does it look? So as you can see here, some of the prices are going to be pretty pricey here. So this is like your throw ratio. Look, lumens, 8,500 lumens. That's all. That's very bright. So if you're like, whoa, I cannot afford that, you could go from price, from low to high, high to low. So this is from low and to high. So as you can see, some of these things are going to be pretty, pretty pricey. Now, if you're like, hey, you know what? Um, yeah, I want to do a different type of search. You could update search results. Uh, you could clear filters and you could do the specs and all that stuff. Um, you could also just hit the back button. I like the, the start of it. So if you want to search by projector, you can do that here or by brand. So if you're like, hey, I've been doing some, you know, I've been looking at Canon and I saw a bunch of projectors. See, they got discontinued projectors and they got their standard projectors. So if you're like, I want to look at something really, really specific, you could definitely come that here and it'll tell you everything on there. Now, if you say, okay, um, these are your projector details, I'll tell you the distance and what you can do with it. If you're going to be very, very close, what your throw is and all that stuff, it'll, it'll give you all of those details right here. If you're saying it's going to be ceiling mounted, then you could do that. And again, It'll give you all the details, like if it's like just how you're supposed to do it. What's the size of this thing? Some really, really good information. This thing is actually really, really, really nice. Now, the other one is I know 
some of us have been very, very curious on um, Xiaomi projectors. You can go to Xiaomi right here, and here's like the Mi Smart, and then just the Mi. So if it doesn't show here, then it'll tell you what what it is, what it's not, what you can get out of it. ViewSonic is another really, really good one to have if you just want to look at ViewSonic. Then you'll have everything here. So again, like I said, the short, all that stuff is really, really good. Um, let's just say you're about three feet. Um, let's just say three feet. You don't even care about the image size. I, I want three feet. And I want to go from price. Three feet price. Like you got $80, 15 lumens. That's going to be, <laughs> you better be nighttime when it comes to 15 lumens. If you're looking for anything daytime, you're going to want at least a minimum of 3,500 lumens. 3,000 lumens, you can get away with it, but 35 and up. Um, I mine's a 3,900, so you could definitely look it up. See, so 25 lumens, 50 lumens. You have everything there. So you could actually come up here for the brightness. I would choose this range right here, 2,000 to 4,000, and this will give you a good mark here. So 3,300 not bad for day not bad for day it's not going to be the best again mine's 3900 and it works pretty damn good so 33 is pretty close but of course if you scroll down you're going to get some that are a little bit better so i, I would say anything under under 3000 i'll stay here's a 3500 479 great price right there and of course the higher you go the prices just continue to come up and up and up but it'll give you every single brand. Here's your Epsons. Here's uh, your View Sonics and Focus. Just whatever you want to get. This is this is how you do it. So if you are doing your research on what you want, this website is great, and you can get a lot of information on how this stuff works. Now, one last thing before I do forget is if you are interested in um, like the throw. If you're like, hey, how, what do I do with the throw? So here it is. I just clicked on this one. And it shows you, if you put it here, this is what you're going to get. You could adjust it on the size, 172 inch, 72 inch. That's pretty big. If you're like, you know what? I don't want 172 inch. I want maybe a 80 inch. It's going to tell you you're going to be about seven feet. If you're like, well, I don't care if it's actually like 60 inch, you're going to be about five feet. And if you're like, well, I, 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 I can't do five feet. I got to be four feet. You know, this will tell you where you're at, you know. So if you're just like, no, I got plenty of room. I could really back this this bad boy up. Look, if you go nine feet, you get close to 100 inches. So that's how you could do it. That's how you could set it up. Make sure you guys do check this out. Um, if you do, again, you could do ceiling mount. You could do uh, eye level. Just tons of stuff, tons of options. So check it out. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you've ever tested anything like this, which is great. And yeah, sorry that I made the video too long. There's just a lot of information with this thing. I wanted you guys to get hooked up with the latest and greatest information. You guys take care, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.